All right, Perfect. Sam, uh, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's a, a nice week for you, always coming back to this event. Um, unfortunately, not playing this week, but if you can tell us kind of your thoughts and feelings of always the, the, how special this event is for you. It's incredible. Um, you know, it's, it's so good to be back here every year. I, I don't live at Bay Hill anymore. I haven't lived here in 10 years, but you know, every time I come back here, it just feels like home. Um, it's never going to change. And, you know, despite all of the circumstances we're under right now, to be able to put together such a good field and, and have all these guys come and, um, you know, play this tournament, not only because it's a great golf course and it's a great event, but I feel like for, you know, a large number of them, it's out of respect to what my granddad was able to do to provide them all with the careers we've, you know, been able to have today. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I, I've, I've answered this question about a hundred times this week so far, you know, I see all, it's great to come see all my friends and the first thing they all, oh my gosh, what'd you do? Because I'm, you know, I'm, I haven't really told a ton of people, but uh, broke my, broke my tibia skiing um, seven weeks ago now. It was a, uh, if there's such thing as a good break, it was a good break and didn't tear any ligaments and um, I will be back to playing in probably about a month now. I think I'll be cleared to play golf on March 23rd. So recovery's gone really well. And as, as unlucky of an accident as it was, because I've been skiing my whole life, it was uh, it was lucky in the sense that it wasn't a lot worse. So um, it's been a weird, you know, progression for me with the collarbone in 2019, and you know all the events of COVID and, and now this. Uh, but you know, if I if I needed any more fuel to my fire to come back and really want to get back out on the PGA Tour and play where I'm supposed to. It's uh, it's all there for me now. It, it is. It's extremely disappointing. But the last few years since I've kind of taken on this new role, uh, since my grandfather passed, have, have been tough trying to balance playing and, um, you know, fulfilling this, this you know, media role and, and all the different commitments I have. It, it's, it's nice in a way to be able to focus this week and really observe everything that's happening from a different perspective and, you know, talk to all the players, get their feedback and, and have a singular focus on, you know, trying to make sure this event is continuing to be the best that it can and, and look to the future of, you know, what we're doing. Uh, great looking hat, by the way, uh, but it, it means the world. I mean, my, my grandfather, uh, he, he meant so much to so many people, but he he set something up here that was really unique. And he, he the legacy, you know, to carry it on is, you know, what, what my mother, Amy Saunders, has done, uh, the amount of work and time and energy that she has put into it over the last 10, 15 years, pe people don't know, and, and they don't understand the commitment that she's made, and and it's not it's not that easy. I mean, there are a lot of moving parts here, and there, there's just, you know, he left us such a wonderful thing, and to be able to, you know, for me personally, to be able to see the amount of work that my, my mother has put into it, and our, our, our family has um, been able to carry this thing on and, and keep it going, and, and honestly, I can tell you, the future is, is really bright. I mean, they've got a lot of things can change, and I think people were wondering, well, will the tournament still be here? Will Bay Hill be successful? And um, the commitment has been has been there to to really keep things going in the right direction. And I'm I'm incredibly excited to for people to start finding out about kind of the future master plan here at Bay Hill. And you know, while while we want to keep things you know going in the right direction, the the character and the integrity that that Bay Hill has will always be the same. I, I think it's incredibly unique, especially in today's times. Um, you know, it's always a changing world, but sometimes it's really good to reflect back up on how people who have been around this world a lot longer than, than we have and, and how they did things. And, and, you know, like I said, character, integrity, manners, um, the idea that, you know, hard work is, is really the only way to get things done. Um, he's a great example for all of us, and, and his generation was a good example for all of us. So I'm, I'm just proud to be able to be a part of it, and and to see all these young guys, all these players out here, you know, really pay attention and, and admire what he did, and, and kind of take some notes from it. And speaking on that, a lot of the young guys in this field and the four never saw your grandfather play golf. Mm -hmm. What do you think his impact is on this current generation of golf? 
Well, I'd like to think that what my granddad did, you know, 50 plus years ago and putting golf on television, um, you know, it's, it's set up the career of, you know, my generation, maybe guys a little older than me, but, but really it set Tiger up to be able to do what he was able to do. And, and that's who these young guys are now looking to. They're looking to Tiger. I mean, you, you saw Collins' remarks last week after his win, and, and, and he obviously set the tone for this new young generation. But I think for them to remember that, you know, Arnold Palmer kind of started it. And I, I'm not saying that as his grandson. I'm saying that as a professional golfer. You know, I, I recognize that. We, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing right now were it not for, you know, his – his bringing the game to television and making it popular and making it a game for everyone. So, um, you know, he started it, Tiger has continued it, and, and so many great players along the way have, have added to that. So um, it, it's great to see, you know, the young guys still recognize, you know, what, they, what he did, even though, and this, is, this tournament's a great reminder of that. You know, the pictures on the walls, the stories in the locker room, all the things that these guys get to see, um, it, it helps them continue to remember that what happened a long time ago was really important for, for their success. Sam, would you like to see more than top 25 here? I think there's 12. Yes, obviously. Um, to be frank, uh, pretty tough spot in the schedule being between the WGC and the Players' Championship. So, you know, I look at guys like Rory being here, um, Bryson. It, it's tough to play. I, I've played on tour. Three events in a row is a lot. Uh, so to play a WGC, and then API, and then the players. It's, you know, a lot of guys take a week off before, you know, a big event. And, you know, to see the commitment of, of those 12 guys that are here, it means the world to me. And um, means, it, it, you know, I think it's important that guys come and play out of respect just, just to what my granddad did. And hopefully, hopefully we can find ourselves in a better spot on the schedule next year um, because it's tough. And, and I, 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 I wouldn't criticize anyone for, for not being able to make it. I get it. it. It's tough to play all of the tournaments. There, there's so many important ones. There's so many big ones. But, um, you know, Mr. Nicholas's event, our event here, I think they're, I think they're right up there with any of them. Yeah, and that, that's the other thing. I mean, we've, I think over the past five, six years, we've provided one of the most quality, consistent golf courses on the PJ Tour. I mean, I, I really, I really do believe that. And uh, Chris Flynn, our head superintendent, our entire staff here, we have so many good people, and and it's a well-oiled machine at this point. I mean, they, there are not a lot of hiccups throughout the year. Not only do we have a great event, you know, a great golf course for this week, quality, you know, the best players are going to, you know, be be rewarded here the guys who you know execute the shots that they need to but um you know because of the practices and what we've been able to you know the strides we've been able to make over the last few years we've got a great product year round for our members for lodge guests and that's that's the cool thing about bay hill anybody can come play here and it's not it's not just good this one week of the year it's good it's good almost year round now and that's something i'm i'm as proud of that as anything because i i love that people can come here and experience bay hill as as the tour pros do Depends on the wind. If, if we get some of that rain and it softens up a little bit, they might be able to get after it a little bit more. But, you know, the rough is up as always. Um, I don't think we're going to have what we had last year where we had just that, you know, crazy north wind, crazy firm, fast, dry conditions. And, you know, Tyrrell just out battled everyone that week. Um, I think if it's, if it's soft, we could see somebody go shoot 15, 16 under par. So, um, you know, I think that's probably a, a spot where I'm looking this week. He's, he was awesome, I and mean, I didn't I didn't see him that way, or treat him that way, or or think of myself as being somebody special. Still don't today. Uh, just a person like everyone else, because that's how he was. He was just a guy uh, living in the world, working hard, trying to be successful, and treat people the right way. So it, it's neat. It, it's to see you know that he was this international icon, and and you know one of the most famous individuals arguably of all time uh, in sports and TV, any of it. Um, but what's even cooler is just how normal of a person he was. And they all are, you know, that, that's the thing. At the end of the day, they're all just people that want to be treated like everyone else. Uh, 
just you know sending the message to our sponsors to our fans to our players that we appreciate them being here their support um, means the world but we're we're really excited about the future and we're really working hard here and, and I say we're I just get to speak on behalf of all the people here who really put in the hard work I, I'm I'm so fortunate to have this role um, I don't have much to do with it we've got so many great people here making great decisions time money commitment to to making Bay Hill just one of the coolest experiences you can you can possibly go to and, and honestly carrying on the legacy of, of Arnold Palmer but but making it accessible I mean he had so many wonderful artifacts and memorabilia and that's something that is really going to be exciting for people to see in the future uh, what we're going to do here uh, because not only will they be able to come and play a world-class golf course stay in an incredible lodge here that that has a homey feel I mean it feels like you're staying at a bed and breakfast that's just really nice and uh, but they'll be able to go see touch and you know experience his life not just trophies but golf clubs shoes you know custom lighters uh, all, all the things that he saved that that show the real full story of Arnold Palmer not just um, not just the, the the wins and the trophies and 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 honestly not you know the, the human side of him as well so it's it, it's not just about him though it's really a I look at it as a history of golf here that we're going to provide at some point any other questions thank you. all right thank all right you, you bet Appreciate all right it.